And I press yes. Hello, Yori. Hello, Greg. So I'm very happy that now we are going to take five minutes to speak a little bit about composition and performance in contact improvisation context. And, yes. Um, this is deeply related to the workshop that we're going to give in three weeks in Vienna uh, together. Uh, we already worked on this topic together, in together and also in different situations, on your own, on my own. And I would like to ask you questions uh, so people who would be interested can know a little bit more about your work and our, your view of the work. So, Yuri, can you tell me uh, where this idea of working on composition and performing uh, in a performative context, in contact improvisation, comes from? What is it about? I think, yes, I think, first of all, what comes to mind is my work with Kirsty Simpson and Andrew Harwood uh, for some years, who always, they are both contact uh, performers and teachers, and they always include contact improvisation into the performative um, expression, so to say. And um, then also the uh, original uh, birth of contact improvisation with Steve Paxton, Nancy Stark Smith and Daniel Lepkov and Kirsty, Andrew, all these people who were involved in the early 70s, that they were all, it was an art form, or they were all from artistic dance performative backgrounds. So I think it was an obvious thing for them to bring their practice and their research into a field of being witnessed. So not only being in a research labbing situation, but actually bring in that other element of being witnessed. And they did that in galleries uh, where they said, uh, come as you are and we show you what we do. It was a very simple way of allowing a witness, an audience to come and see what they were doing. And I think the role of the audience is part of a co-creative uh, process that anchors uh, your research or what you're doing and heightens your awareness. And I think they also wanted to test, test their own, you know, capacity to stay in, but I can't speak for them, but this is what I find very interesting in what we are going to work together on is how can you be completely in tune with yourself while being observed without having to go into performing or uh, feeling that you have to be extra in some way or theatrics or whatever comes up in this <laughs> in this nervous system of ours when we are being observed so but at the same time your your question why i find it so fascinating or interesting and i think we both do is that I think it is a crucial element of the practice. It heightens our attention and our awareness and our potential also. What do you think? So, I mean, um, what it gives, I could talk about it, but because I want us to be short and uh, I would like to reflect back on what you said before mm -hmm. uh, about the origins and where it comes from and about how you have been working with those people who have been performing in the 70s um, very closely. Uh, myself, those people, I just experienced them in, in workshops. So week long or weekend, but I didn't work intensively as you did. Nevertheless, I've been seeking on my own with the people, those people that I met, I've been asking them, how was it? 
how did you how did you uh, create this together? Were you meeting regularly? Were you traveling together? Where this idea came from? Uh, how did you experience that? And so I've been listening to different stories, but the reason why I, I've been going for this because I, since the beginning I'm practicing dance and contact improvisation, I was deeply interested in this field. I wanted to know because I didn't meet with this. I never had a clear experience of it. And uh, when I met with you, we had some talks about it and say, okay, so let's bring it in a workshop setting. And mm -hmm. we started, I think the first time it was maybe three or four years ago. Yes. And, um, and maybe, yes, just to wrap it up, like we have this common interest and this. Yes. And if I am I'm allowed to say, I really love your somatic approach, which really deepens that rekindling or connecting to oneself and one's sensorial experience as a, a value in being seen as well yeah. and letting it develop into this unknown field that the space holds when we are creating a performance with it. Very good. You are taking... Thank you. Thank you. For... <laughs> thank you so much. And I look forward yeah, to for our... As well. Yes. So you see, you can also uh, present in this video the other side of how, what is my approach. Thank you for that. Yes. Yes. And, um, yes. So this will be December 16, 17 in Vienna. Two days. It's not too much to go into this yes. topic. So it's just good to have a taste and, and try it. So you are welcome. Thank you. Yes, I look forward to it. Thank yeah. you too. Bye. Okay, bye.